Hello friends, Ben here for Giant Loop and today I'm super excited to show you a full Giant Loop soft luggage setup on this 1250 GSA. I'm here at Cascade Moto BMW Motorcycles of Portland and they have generously allowed me to spend some time with this 1250 GS adventure and I have outfitted it with a full suite of Giant Loop soft luggage and I wanna show you guys exactly what I put on it and how I mounted it so that you can get some ideas if you have a 1250 GS or a GS of any size really of your own and you wanna see how our stuff works with the BMW. Let me run through the bags I've got mounted on the bike and then I'll show you a little bit of how I mounted them so you have a good idea how it'll work with your GSA or GS or your BMW. I've actually got five Giant Loop products on this GS. Let me show them to you. First, the zigzag handlebar bag, the glove box for your motorcycle as it's called. It's perfectly up here on the handlebars of the GS. This is the Fandango tank bag. That's an eight liter tank bag with this tapered design that is specifically designed to stay out of your way when you're standing up. You can see there's a lot of room. The angle is straight up, so you have room to stand up and maneuver on the bike, even with a larger eight liter tank bag. I've also got the Giant Loop Moto Trek panniers and our quick release pannier mount. We have an adapter here that works specifically with the factory racks on the GS. And then two dry bags I've mounted on the back. So this is the Tillamook dry bag, and you can see it's got these anchor straps that you just gotta find a solid mounting point on the bike so I've just gone to this factory pannier mount here and down to the back of the pannier rack on the back but that bag is solid it's not going anywhere 48 liters of storage here in the Tillamook bag and then on the back just for extra shenanigans I've added the Giant Loop Rogue dry bag and I've just clipped it on with pronghorn straps as you can see here the Moto Trek panniers are 25 liters each you've got almost 50 in the Tillamook dry bag and another 17 here and eight in the Fandango. So all told, we're looking at, hold on, I'm gonna do math. 17 and eight, 25, plus 50-ish, 75, plus another 50. You got 125 liters of storage here, just in the Giant Loop bags, not counting the zigzag handlebar bag. And this was all very quick and easy to mount, and it works really well with the GS, as you can see, because our stuff is universal, it's designed to work with all bikes, and GSs are included in that. Let me give you a little bit more sort of in-depth into where and how things are mounted. So the zigzag bag, it just has, there's a Velcro strap that goes around it, around the handlebar. You can see it mounts right here, and then it comes around, and there's also one of these straps that goes up and through the buckle, so you can really tighten it down. So this isn't going anywhere, but it fits really perfectly, as you can see on the outside of the handlebar mounts here on the GS, almost like it's made for it. So that's a really good fit. So this is a great option and that gives you just some easy to access quick storage for your phone, some tools, uh, people keep all kinds of stuff in there, if you know, your chapstick, things like that. This is the Fandango tank bag and I've just mounted it down to the frame here under the seat. So it's not gonna be in your way at all. And then just up under the steering stops here on the front and this bag is completely removable so it's totally out of your way like i said when you're standing up on the mic but it also zips off so you can fill up your gas tank easily so you can go halfway just to fill up your gas tank full access to the gas cap here without taking the bag off without having to undo any straps or anything or you can unzip this the rest of the way and just take it in with you wherever you're going to a restaurant your tent whatever it is one of the coolest things i want to show you is how our quick release pannier mounts with the special adapter that we have to make it work specifically with factory BMW pannier racks works. But you can see there's this extender right here because at least on the right side, the GS racks are closer to the bike on top and farther away from the bike on the bottom because they kind of curve around the exhaust as you can see. But with this adapter, our mounts work just like that. So it gives you the extra space you need. These just clip onto the bottom and simple as that. This quick release pannier mount has also got a locking mechanism here so you can lock it on there so no one can take it off. This is so nice when you're going in and out of your tent. If you don't want to have to unstrap your bags, you just add the pannier mounts and these work wonders with both the Mototrek panniers and the Round the World panniers. So the Mototreks are 25-ish liters. The Round the Worlds are almost 50 each and they're huge and I actually have one over here I'll show you, but I don't have it set up with the quick mount. On top, Tillamook dry bag, 48 liters of storage. This is a completely waterproof bag. So are the Mototrek panniers actually. And even the Fandango tank bag is 100% waterproof if you use it with the tank bag dry pod that comes with it. This is a roll top. You can see the motor truck is roll top, so that's totally waterproof. And both these dry bags are called dry bags for a reason. They're completely waterproof. And the Tillamook is one of my favorite products that we sell, and I really think it's underrated because of how versatile it is. It works really well in the back of a motorcycle, but it's more than just a regular dry bag because it comes with these anchor straps. 
You see this anchor strap here? So this is just a loop that goes around something solid on your frame, and then you just clip it down with these buckles. You got 50 liters of waterproof storage, and you can take it on and off the bike in seconds, because you unclip these four, bag comes right off. And then you just fill your bag up, slap it back on the bike, you're good to go for the next day. So super easy, super convenient. The Tillamook has side entry, so it's a side entry dry bag on both sides. So you can get to your gear on either side. You don't have to rummage through the whole bag to get to something that's maybe on the other end or on the bottom. The Tillamook bag is another 50 liters. It's perfectly on the passenger seat here, as you can see. Just for a little extra bonus storage on the back, it's our smaller Rogue dry bag. Worth pointing out that both the Rogue and the Tillamook have these air purge valves so that you can get them as compact and tight as you want by squeezing all the air out and sealing it up in there. The Rogue doesn't have the anchor points, but it does mount really easily with our giant loop pronghorn straps. These are the 32 inch ones. They're inexpensive and really durable, really strong straps. I use them all the time for all kinds of stuff. So to add the extra dry bag, all I've done is one, I've attached it to the Tillamook bag, as you can see there, but then I ran it down underneath the rear rack. See here? And I would tighten this down if it, the bag was more full. It's just not very full at the moment because I'm just doing this demo, but this keeps it from moving up and down and then having it attached to the Tillamook bag keeps it from moving side to side. Our quick release pannier mounts are compatible with both the Round the Worlds and the Mototrek panniers and they bolt right on to the Round the Worlds. So everything I just said and demonstrated with the quick release pannier mounts with the Mototrek panniers also works with the Round the World pannier. And the difference is the Round the World gives you twice as much storage. I love these bags. These are what I run on my bike. I've got a ton of use out of them and they fit perfectly. They're not gonna be in your way at all in the GS they will totally work with the factory racks. So another option to consider is the Round the World panniers, also with the quick release mounts. You can see it just mounts to the back of the bag here. This is actually one for my Tusk rack specifically, but this plastic sheet in here is designed to bolt directly onto the giant loop pannier mounts. Easy peasy, no muss, no fuss. So if you're a GS owner looking for ideas, on how to add more storage to your bike or you want to move into some soft bags because they're a little bit safer when you're riding off-road they're weatherproof and all that i want to just make this video to give you guys some ideas of how our bags can work with the gs some ideas for a full setup but also you could just obviously take bits and pieces of this and make it work for you and your needs and what you're doing so if you want more information or you're curious about any of the products in this video i'll link them all in the description for you i'll also put a link to the website of Cascade Motorcycles BMW Motorcycles of Portland, which is the dealership that's very graciously allowed me to come in here and mess around with their brand new GS. So check them out. If you have questions about gear setup, about what gear works with your bike or what gear you might wanna try or how it fits or any of that, you can use the chat now feature on giantlukemoto.com to be connected with our gear guru, Ryan, in real time. Monday through Friday, nine to five, he's there ready and willing to answer your questions and he'll get you set up and scored away with exactly what you need. Don't forget to visit giantlukemoto.com for more information and don't forget that all orders from giantloopmoto.com, over $50 shipped for free. Please consider subscribing to the channel for more gear overviews and other great content like this. And don't forget that YouTube subscribers save 10% with promo code subscriber. For now, I just wanna say thank you very much for watching. Go light, go fast, go far with Giant Loop.